Hello my crochet friends, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this easy textured crochet hat. It's a simple two row repeat and I'm sure you're going to love it. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified when new videos come out. So for this pattern, we're not going to need very much. We're going to need some size 5 yarn. I'm using Lion Brand Color Made Easy. We're going to need to use a 7 millimeter crochet hook a yarn needle, scissors, and a little pom-pom. I'm using this one I got on Amazon that has a convenient little loop at the edge. We're going to start by chaining 33 chains for a child size or 39 chains for an adult size beanie. So now we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and into the next four chain. So now we're ready to start our herringbone half double crochets. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain, and pull up a loop. We're going to take the first loop on the hook and pull it to the second loop on the hook. And then we will yarn over again and pull through both of the loops on the hook. The idea behind the herringbone half double crochet is it's going to slowly lean the way that we were working. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, and pull up a loop. Pull that first loop through the second loop on the hook, yarn over, and pull through both loops on the hook. If you're working the child size, you are going to work a total of 12 herringbone half double crochets, and the adult size, you'll work 18 herringbone half double crochets. After you have those stitches worked, you will have 15 chain left. In those 15 chain, we're just simply going to single crochet into each chain. This here, I'm going to go ahead and use my stitch marker and mark that first single crochet because at this point, this is going to be the brim of our hat and you'll see in the next row, we'll start working this differently. But it's just good to mark that point there and then continue single crocheting until the end of the row. Now we're going to start row two by chaining one and turning. This is going to be the first of our repeat rows we are going to work single crochet into the back loop only of the first 15 stitches. If you put that stitch marker there, you're just going to do this until you reach their stitch marker. After the 15 single crochet and we've reached the stitch marker and we've moved up our stitch marker, now we are going to do a herringbone half double crochet into the next 14 stitches for the child size and the next 20 stitches for the adult size. You may notice that this is different from our previous row and that is on purpose. When you're done working your stitches, you're going to have three stitches left and we're going to work a single crochet into the last three stitches. Again, this is the first row of our two row repeat. To start row three, we're going to chain one and turn and then we are going to single crochet into the first five stitches. And then from there, you are going to do a herringbone half double crochet until you reach your stitch marker, which again for the child size should be about 12 stitches and for the adult size would be 18 herringbone half double crochet. So once again, we hit our stitch marker and from the stitch marker to the end of the row, we are going to be single crocheting in the back loops only for the next 15 stitches. So now after you finish row three, you will just need to alternate rows two and three until you have either a total of 40 stitches for the child size beanie or 48 stitches for the adult size beanie. So I wanted to go ahead and show you that it is going to be kind of weird looking at first. The way we're doing single crochet at the top is we're getting this to kind of close together so it's going to be easier to gather at the end. The herringbone double crochet is going to be wider so it's going to give us almost like a slight beret look and then of course the back loop only single crochet on the other side is going to give us a nice stretchy brim. So here I went ahead and finished crocheting my hat 
And the next thing we are going to need to do is take our two side pieces with a yarn needle and sew them together up these two sides. So I'm going to use something called the invisible stitch to sew these two ends together. You can definitely whip stitch it, that's completely okay. Um, but if you want to learn how to do the invisible stitch, I have a video for that and I will link it up in the corner. So once you sew up the side, all we need to do is gather up the top of the hat. And normally you would use this yarn tail here to do so, but I'm going to show you a different way to do it. And to do that, I'm going to use a different color yarn. So to gather up the top of the hat, what we're going to basically do is take our pink yarn and we are going to draw a star and then we are going to gather it with that. So using your yarn thread, we're just going to come through on the first star point, go up to the top for the top star point, back down to one of the bottom star points, and then go to the horizontal star points. There we go. And then back into that very first star point. So we've made a pretty little star on the top. So now that we have our star, we're just going to pull it tight very gently. And what it's going to do is it's going to cause five folds. And you're going to have these five folds with five points on the outside. So when we're done tightening this, we'll have five points on the outside. And then we're just going to repeat the process. So take your yarn needle, pull it through one of the folded sections, and then start creating your star. So just taking your needle, you are going to go through the five points once again as if you are drawing a star. And then back through the first point and there is your little star. Now from here you're just going to pull it tight again. So you'll just gently work one section at a time until you have it nice and pulled tight and here you'll see at the top of your hat will have this beautiful folded star pattern. So it's not really necessary to add a pom-pom if you don't want. And even with the pink yarn here, you can see how even your yarn is pretty well hidden. But of course we are going to add a pom-pom. So I'm just going to take my needle and using this pom-pom that I showed you earlier, I'm just going to pull it through the loop. I'm going to stitch through the top of the hat, go back through the loop on the pom-pom. I always like to double it up when I can and then pull everything tight and then just weave my ends back into the center of the hat and then I will knot them there. So that completes our herringbone beanie hat. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and that you'll check out my YouTube channel to find more crochet tutorials that you may like.